Now that we have told you that the Warthin tumor was the second most common benign tumor of salivary gland, we would be remiss if we didn't show you the most common type. In fact, not only is the most is this the most common type of benign uh, salivary gland tumor, it's by far the most common type of salivary gland tumor of any type. This is a mixed tumor. It's also called a pleomorphic adenoma. When you see a person, even if they're young, with a little nodule at the angle of their jaw that's been slowly growing, but looks like it's uh, very well defined, it's probably a mixed tumor. Notice if you cut the surface, which we have, that some of it looks almost gelatinous or cartilaginous, like here and here and here, and other parts are perhaps more hemorrhagic. And because the salivary gland is a gland, I bet you're going to suspect that you'll see some glandular tissue in there as well. So let's look at it under the scope. And this is a totally classical appearance for every mixed tumor or pleomorphic adenoma you'll ever see. Mixed refers to the fact that it's both this gelatinous, cartilaginous collect connective tissue as well as these little glandular spaces which I'll show you. Pleomorphic refers to the same thing. It has both connective tissue and epithelial or glandular elements. Notice how well defined it is. That's another factor that makes this benign. Uh, they're re it's relatively rare, but not unheard of for mixed tumors to become malignant. I would think probably 90 plus percent of them are benign. And let's also show you right now why this is called mixed or pleomorphic. Here is the cartilaginous component. And these little epithelial streaks in between are the glandular component. That makes it mixed. That makes it pleomorphic. Now, no matter where we go on here, we'll see it. Here's the cartilaginous stuff. Here are the little glands. Here's a blood vessel, as of course you know. In this area, we see predominantly little glands, don't we? And if you had a hard time believing that those little streaks were glands, when you get into this area, I think you could appreciate them a little bit better as looking a little bit more glandular, can't you? They got In this case, you don't have cartilage between them, though. You have more fibrous uh, mesenchymal tissue. I'm going to take two more clicks, and then we're going to call it a day. The gray stuff is the cartilaginous stuff. The little streaks in between is the glandular stuff. It's mixed. It's pleomorphic. Here's another new random area. Here's something that looks much more like a gland. Here is this fibrous and both gelatinous or cartilaginous type matrix. Or if you would prefer to call this mixoid, which people frequently do, you can. Although I don't think anybody's ever agreed yet to what exactly mix, M-Y-X, is. I think the term when you see cartilaginous grayish type thing to call this mixoid. Some people call it mixoid degeneration. Here's a lot of glands. Here's a couple glands. And here's some of that mixoid matrix as well. Number one tumor of the salivary glands, pleomorphic adenoma. I think the jury is split on this. I think in the old days, everybody called them mixed tumors. I think now some of the people who would like to make you believe they're up to date would be more likely to call this a pleomorphic adenoma. And thank you very much.